and welcome to our MR Diagnostic Services presentation. We're here today with the Mini Vetus. This is the gray version. We want to show you how to run your standards or calibrators as you may know them using a progesterone kit. Now the first step to get this kit into the system is to scan what's called the MLE card, otherwise known as Master Lot Entry. This is where the master curve information is stored as well as the lot number, the expiration date, and all the contents within this box. Now to enter in this kit, I select Master Lot Entry on the screen and then Scan Master Lot. The screen now shows you Scan MLE Barcode, which is this code right here. Now to scan this MLE barcode, I press the scanner on, start from the top, and slowly work my way down. When you get that green beep, I'll show you on the screen, it's reading the MLE barcode and saving it to the storage within the Mini Vitas. This process will take about one minute. Now after successful scanning, it will automatically print off the report of what was scanned in. If I want to go back and look at what I have entered, I'll go down to list master lots. PRG is the test that I've assigned. There's no other kit saved to this instrument at this time. Now the contents of each kit includes everything that you will need minus the sample or any control substances to run on the Mini Vitas. The first package, which must remain closed to prevent moisture damage, is what's called the SPRs. And this is check each spur to make sure that it is punctured in the middle. If it does not have this hole, discard the spur. The thing you want to check is just the color coding to match it up. It's important not to mix and match spurs and what's called the test strip between different lot numbers. Now, in order to order the to find testing for the PRG standard or calibrator which must be ran in triplicate and again all this information is found within your kit insert sheet there's much important information you should get very familiar with the sheet uh, one important thing to note is how to reconstitute the standards and before testing to allow all the components to reach room temperature now different kits, different assays may have different assay procedures and structures on how to do this, so it's important to refer to each one specifically. For this assay, all sample portions are 200 microliters. So now I will insert, first thing I'll do, I'll actually insert these and put the sample in. Now, the lip of this test strip must go right over the groove of position B1. It's one to six left to right. You'll feel a little resistance as you're pushing it in. This is normal. And then at the end, there's a little clip. You must push down, slide it forward until it snaps just a little bit into place. Now that I have all my test units within the section, section B, I'll now close this cover, open this up, and here's where you find the SPR, or solid phase receptacle block. Now I want to slide in your spurs into position. There's no forcing or jamming needed. Just be sure they're seated well. Close this cover and open this up as I have not yet put the sample in any of the test units. Now as indicated by your kit insert sheet, each PRG calibrator or standard comes in the kit looking like this, S1 for standard one. This particular assay only has one point of standard or calibration, but it's very important that only 200, or as indicated by the sheet, microliters of sample be placed into each test unit. The, the position that you place the sample in is the first position here, or as you can see it's different from all the rest, the sample well. 
and then I'll pipette my 200. And this standard is ran in triple kit, which is why I have the three test units here. The following three are controls that I want to run immediately following. There's a level one, I have a level two, and a level three. Go to status screen, section B. And this is where the indicating of what is where takes place. The barcode scanner has always already identified each test strip as a PRG kit. It's now for section one, position B1. See the S here or the C here? The S stands for standard or calibrator and the C stands for control. You can also assign a dilution and sample ID. I want to pick standard. Now once I've selected S or standard level one for PRG, I can now hit the page back button in the middle. I go to select number two. I assign that as a standard as well. Page back, select position three, choose that as standard, page back. Our load and go testing is now in progress. As you can see from the screen, we've identified position one, two, and three as standard number one for progesterone. Now for progesterone, there's only a one point standard. For other assays, there may be two. For this particular assay there's only one standard which is why I only had one option of S1. Now for four, five, and six I've assigned a sample ID as one, two, and three referring to BioRad LifoCheck level one, BioRad LifoCheck level two, and level three. It is now in progress as you can identify from the LED over section B, green meaning test in progress once the testing is completely finished it will be a flashing green and then you can then open the cover discard test units and open the upper cover and discard the SPRs results should print automatically